Hello and welcome from St Peter's Church in Wellsbourne. These videos are made for you to have your own children's church session from home. Now over the coming weeks we're going to be looking at Peter. Our church is named after Peter of course, Saint Peter, and this is what we call a patron saint. Today we are looking at how Peter made a move. He made a move from being a fisherman to becoming a follower of Jesus. And in the end, he becomes the leader of the church, telling lots of people about Jesus. And in the picture you can see him curing a lame man who couldn't walk. This is Peter in the stained glass window in church. It's not an easy one to find, but next time you're in church there is a quiz about stained glass. Have a go at that and see if you can find him. Here Peter is shown with keys and a book. Sometimes you'll see him with an upside down cross, a fish, a fishing net, and there are some other objects as well. And we're going to find out a bit more about why Peter is associated with those objects. We're going to start our story with how Jesus first called Peter and the other fishermen to be his disciples. But this week we're going to start right at the beginning of Peter's story and look at how he was called to go from being a fisherman to being a follower of Jesus. The prophet Isaiah foretold that Jesus the Messiah would go to Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. Those who live in the dark land, the light will shine upon them. That's from Isaiah chapter 9. On the Sea of Galilee, near Capernaum, four fishermen fished all night without catching anything. Finally, they gave up and rowed ashore. The names of the fishermen were Simon, who later became Peter, Andrew, James and John. On the shore, the fishermen cleaned their nets. As the fishermen worked, a large crowd was growing and pressing in on Jesus. Jesus noticed the men cleaning their nets and went forward towards their boats. Jesus asked Peter to take him in the boat and row a short distance from the land. Then Jesus spoke to the people and taught them about God and his kingdom. Even though Peter was tired, he listened carefully to Jesus' words. When Jesus was done speaking to the crowds, he told Peter to go back fishing. Peter grumbled, Master, we worked hard all night and caught nothing. He also had great respect for Jesus though, so he rowed out once more. Then they caught so many fish that the net began to break. And they had to signal their fishing partners to come and help them. Now, even with more than one boat, there were so many fish that the boat started to sink. Peter was shocked. Jesus had shown Peter great miracles. He had even healed Peter's mother-in-law of a bad fever. Fever. This miracle impacted Peter so much that he left his boat and went to Jesus. Peter told Jesus, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Peter and his companions were amazed with Jesus' holiness and power. They didn't feel they were good enough to be in his presence. Peter also recognised that he was a sinful person. Jesus was beginning to reveal himself to them. Jesus said to Peter, Do not fear. From now on, you will be catching men. Peter told many people that he believed in Jesus. He believed him as his Lord and Saviour, the Christ, the Holy One. Because of this, many people believed in Jesus and were saved to eternal life. Then Jesus challenged the four fishermen. Jesus asked Peter, Andrew, James and John to follow him. They didn't know where Jesus was going, but they followed. Jesus asks all of us to follow him. When these men followed Jesus, they left many things behind. James and John left their father, the servants, and, their, and all those fish 
The fish were not as important as the great adventure they were about to take with Jesus, the Son of God. Today we heard about fishermen. So now we're going to do some activities and they're going to be based on some fish and some watery themes. If you look up a video for origami fish, then there are loads online. Have a go at that. I found some on Google. I found some on Pinterest. I found some on YouTube. So have a look. Put origami fish into the search and see what you can find. Now, for today's prayer activity, I'd like to suggest this. One symbol of Christianity is the ichthus, which is the Greek word for fish. The reason it's a symbol of Christianity is because of what we just heard. Peter was told by Jesus to stop being a fisherman and instead to be fishers of men. What this means is telling everybody about Jesus. So Peter's not collecting fish anymore. He's collecting people to become Christians. So what I would like you to do is draw out this simple shape, the ichthus, on a piece of paper and cut it out. And then write the name of somebody that you would like to pray for to become a Christian. And you could put them up. You could make a few, maybe. Maybe if you look round your house or if you ask your parents, you could find something that could act as a net. In the pictures you can see on the left, I've found some strawberry nets that you might have if you have a greenhouse or something like that. And on the right, some netting that's used to keep birds from damaging things. You might have something like that. You might have something different. You could use that over the top of your fish to make it look like you have a net catching fish. If you don't have any netting, then perhaps you could draw your net on a piece of paper and stick your ichthus on top of that. The next activity we're going to suggest is based on water. Or, okay, I cheated because it's actually based on milk, but you get the idea. And this is a famous riddle for you to have a go at. It's a bit of a maths question if you like a maths conundrum for you to think about. Put into the search engine on YouTube the three jug riddle. This riddle actually comes from the medieval era in 1484 and is very famous. So see if you can work out that riddle. Your Sunday morning session wouldn't be complete of course without some singing. So Let's look at some songs. Here is today's suggestion. We've been looking at Peter, but the true hero of the story, of course, is Jesus. So maybe you could have a sing along to Jesus, you're my superhero. Or perhaps you would like a video with some dance moves as well. So like our theme, this video is about making a move with Jesus called Every Move I Make by CJ and Friends. If you pop that into the search on YouTube, then you can follow the dance moves on that. It's a good fun video to watch. A suggestion for more viewing, if you like, you could put in Jesus Calls Peter by Saddleback Kids. And that will tell you a little bit more about the story of how Peter was called by Jesus to serve him. And about how Peter was baptised as well. Over the coming weeks, we're going to be having some picnics at church. A little picnic service, in fact, called Paddock Praise, which is in the paddock behind the vicarage. The next is going to be on the 9th of August. If you'd like to come along, please send me an email. You'll see my email in the description below. And then I'll send you along some details and a sign-up form. Because we have to do social distancing because of COVID-19, we have to have a sign-up. So let me know if you're coming in advance, but you are most welcome. And we hope that you can come along and join us. Thank you very much for watching this video today and I very much hope that you can come and join us on the 9th or the 23rd of August or the 6th of September for our paddock praise service and we get to see you in the flesh after a long time of not seeing many of you. So thank you for watching this video today. We will continue to be posting these each week as well if you're doing church from home. In the meantime, stay safe, hope to see you soon and God bless.